Well, this week I began building the wheels for this chuck wagon we're restoring. And when I'm building wagon hubs, I break it down into seven basic steps. And that's what we're going to work through this week. Well, I have a set of ash blocks here that I cured probably 12, 15 years ago. So they're a good choice that I'm going to use for the hubs for these wheels. Now when I examined the original old hub bands, I found that these hubs varied even from the beginning. They ranged from 8 and 1 8 to 8 and 3 8. So the first step is I'm going to take all of these blocks and take them down to a uniform diameter for a uniform set of wheels. So I'm going to use the smallest diameter, 8 and 1 8, and I'll adjust all the hub bands so that they are the same. So the first step was to bring everything down to a uniform diameter. The second step is to take these down to a uniform length. We need 11 inches to match the old hub lengths. So the third step is now to fit these bands that fit the outer ends of the hubs. 
These are also a variety of sizes, but to keep their originality, I'm gonna leave these sizes as they were, and I will fit the hubs to match the bands.
So now with the hub bands fitted, the fourth step is to cut the mortises to accommodate the spokes. These are going to be a two inch spoke with a three quarter inch tenon. So after the mortises for the spokes are cut, the fifth step is to go back to the metal lathe and put the tapered hole in the center of this hub that accommodates the boxing, which actually make these wheels run on the axles.
So before I can press these boxings into the hubs because they are tapered, I need to set the hub bands to prevent these hub blocks from cracking when I press the boxings in. So the sixth step is to set the hub bands. These are hot shrunk just like wagon tires are. And so now that we have the hub band set, we can go ahead and do the seventh and final step and press the boxings into the hub. Well, I had hopes that I was going to get all four hubs built this week for these wheels, but I ran out of week before I ran out of work. So I'll finish up these other three probably while you're watching this video. Once again, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching.